What is going on you guys? It's Aviation 4 a 4 here and I'm back with another awesome mod review. This is the Gemini Jets Air Canada Airbus A330-300 in the new livery. Now, this is a model I've been wanting for a while now because this is my second Air Canada model. The only Air Canada model I had. I don't know, I don't know, yeah. It's the, it was that Darren, it's that Darren 777 in the old livery. I did a review on it that way back in the channel um, when it first started around there so yeah and now that plane is completely in storage and it's I don't actually know where it is in storage so yeah it's yeah to so show so to show my respects to Air Canada I got a Gemini Jets 1400 scale um, one so that's awesome so I'm, I, I just want to say this I apologize for the lack of videos in the couple past two weeks I was just busy finishing up some schoolwork because it was the last week, it was the finalizations and everything, so I wanted to get everything done and right and it's, yeah, so it's, I made it and yeah, I'm back to doing some videos. And also I didn't even have any new models, so yeah, so otherwise I, then I would, wouldn't have any time to do other kind of videos, but yeah, so I'm back at it, so. Um, Okay, so I think you might notice from the screen right now, it's a little slanted, I apologize. You might not, it might not be noticeable because I won't actually, it's not going to be like that in the video, guys. Don't worry about it, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's the uh, same Gemini Jets boring box. What do you expect from Gemini Jets uh, boxes, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's, I might be a little rusty because I've been out for two weeks. Um, so yeah. Uh... Yeah, so bear with me for a second, but for a bit, but yeah, I do have a lot of nice models um, uh, reviews coming soon, so stay tuned. And yeah, some information as usual. This is a 2017 release, so it's not. Uh, I mean, the wings flex is not good. I'll show you that. My Qantas has the same issue. Uh, they did fix that wing flex problem, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, I was just saying. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the unboxing. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, Alright, so same Gemini Jets, same stuff. Uh, usually has these blue plastics here. Um, as, yeah, you, as you can probably tell. And wow, 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 dude. That is awesome. Um, okay, so my opinion on the livery. Um, I... When it first came out, I hated it. I think many people would agree. Um, but as I started seeing it more and more, I started getting used to it. But uh, after I get after getting this model, uh, I really like the livery. I think it's really awesome. Uh, this, mo this model portrays the livery very nicely. Um, so that's why one of the reasons um, why I like this new livery a lot. Okay, so yeah, let's get on with the review. So here we have the cockpit windows. I don't think you can see the windshield wipers because it's black mask. Um, nose cone, some PETA tubes here, Star Alliance logo, L1 entry door. Uh, I do want to say that a lot of people don't like the mask um, right here. Uh, I, I'm in, Personally, I actually really like the mask. It looks really nice. Uh, it looks really good on the 787 and the 737s. Especially the Embraer aircraft as well. Uh, I think E-175s and all that. So it looks really good on those aircraft. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure why not a lot of people don't like it. But oh well, it's a lot of pe people have their own opinions and that's cool. Um, oh yeah, also I want to say this. Um, I also want to say this that the Air Canada logo. And this is kind of funny. On the box, it's the old 1990s logo. You can kind of see there's a difference. This is the new titles. This is the old titles. Uh, the old titles are more, th are thicker, and they are um, more like, you know, clo close together. Uh, the new, newer titles from 2017. This, it's like uh, more spread out, and it's um, also thinner. So that's awesome. But that's funny. It's like. They brought back the retrospect uh, aspect of the look, but also modernized it at the same time, which is awesome. Uh, this is the <sighs> runway lights, the very nice Rolls Royce Trent uh, 772B-60 engines. 
Um, this is these are actually my all-time favorite engines on the A330 aircraft. Um, way better, in my opinion. They have, look really they look, they look better than the Pratt Whitney and the General Electric engines. Runway red runway no navigation light, the black antenna. Then we have the L3 door, L4 door. Canadian flag this is the flag carrier of Canada. Uh, and Charlie Dash Golf Foxtrot Alpha Foxtrot. Here it says Airbus A330 300. And then we have the very nice the L4 door and then the very nice Air Canada tail with the logo. Um, then we have the tail number here, 931. Um, one thing I could have, Air Canada could have done is probably they could have, they could have probably like made like a black stripe here, like going to from tail to the fuselage and extending to the belly. I think that would have looked nice. Um, yeah, but then here we have the APU exhaust, very nice. And then same stuff on this side except there's cargo doors here and here and then the green navigation light. All right, so that's pretty much it for the sides. Um, also, I don't know if you guys can hear. So there's this noise in the background. That's that's the fan blowing because it's here in Illinois. It's, it's kind of hot. I think it's 90 degrees here. Um, it's crazy, but yeah, it's pretty hot. So the fan is in the background. So I'm not sure if you hear that, but yeah, I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, it's, here we have the antenna here. Uh, what is this? The setcom. Uh, Anti-collision light, beacon lights. Flap slats, ailerons, spoilers, uh, no step markings. Oh yeah, and the Air Canada logo inside of the winglet. I'll show you this side as well. You can see right there. Very nice antenna. And then no tail, tail gear. No, no. What is tail gear? That's this thing I made up. No, tail fins. Um, yeah. And then we have the nose gear, nose gear doors. Um, Air Canada logo on the belly, which is awesome. I really like when they put the logos or titles on the bottom belly. Um, antenna, or no, not antenna, stand hole. Main gear, main gear doors, bottom of the wings, very nice black engines. Uh, Gemini Jets logo. And antenna. Uh, end of the black paint, and then uh, APU housing doors. Just the logo on the belly and then the logo on the tail, it's just such a nice design. Um, and the winglets as well, it's a really awesome design. It's a very sleek, sleek, uh, posh livery. It's just, it re looks really good. Um, of course, the old livery, in my opinion, is a little bit better. Uh, the 2004 colors, the ice blue, um, but this is very nice livery. Um, I think this and the Ice Blue are my favorite Air Canada liveries. The other ones in the past are not good in my opinion. Actually, the one with the red stripes is also good. But yeah. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I didn't probably didn't show you the wing flex like I said I would. I usually forget, but you can see it's so... It's kind of leveled a bit too... A bit higher than usual. Um, but I don't think you should worry about the newer models because I think they fixed that um, But yeah uh, Yeah, so I highly recommend this model. I, did, I think I got this from Panda Fox toys Very good company. I would recommend buying from them and yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say for this video guys Thanks for watching subscribe comment like and share if you're new and Leave a comment on what you think of the model um, if you want it um, Yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.